Time now for Morning Rounds with CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook and CBS News contributor Dr. Holly Phillips. First up, a new study finds unhealthy eating habits may be putting American children on a road to heart problems. We've heard about unhealthy eating habits before, of course, Holly, but what does this new study tell us? Absolutely, Anthony. You know, we, we do talk about heart health and, and healthy habits in adulthood, very much you know, affecting our hearts. And the question is, how, what about childhood? How much do those habits matter? So to look at that, the researchers looked at data from about 9,000 children. It was a large study, uh, and they were between the ages of 2 and 11, and they chose four particular components of heart health. Uh, they were body mass index, blood pressure, cholesterol, and diet. Uh, strikingly, they found that of all the children, none had all four healthy components. Oh boy, boy. Um, wow. So those were some sort of striking and dismal findings. And there were other things, you know, only 40%, uh, or, or rather 40% had elevated cholesterol levels, 90% consumed more sodium than recommended. So in terms of getting our healthy heart habits on track, we're not seeing it so much in the kids. So in addition to everything else we're worried about when it comes to our kids, should we also be thinking about heart health in childhood? I think so. It was interesting in that study, nobody had the right diet, pretty much. Right. Uh, there was a study by Steve Nissen of the Cleveland Clinic that blew me away, which found that by the time somebody gets into their early 30s, about half of people already have laying down of plaque in their arteries. So yeah, we have to start really early. All right, so what do we do to reverse this trend? Well, you know what, just as in adults, it comes down to diet and exercise. Uh, you know, I do find with children, I think they respond much more to what to include in the diet rather than focusing on what to exclude. So as much as you can include non-processed foods, fruits and vegetables and snacks that are nuts and raisins as opposed to something processed like chips or candy bars. Uh, and, and in terms of exercise, if they're school age and they can do sports, that's great. If they're at home, limit the screen time a bit, you know, cut down on the right. computers and the video games because if they're not doing that, they're likely moving. Whether or not they're exercising, they're likely moving. And that's likely a, is the opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big thing. All right, well, next, CBS's long-running daytime drama, The Bold and the Beautiful, is getting a lot of buzz this week after a major revelation about one of its characters. You're not my sister, Maya. You're not Maya at all. You're Myron. You're my brother. The soap opera revealed that a character played by a woman for the last two years is transgender. That fictional plot twist is starting a real conversation about acceptance and tolerance. John? Benita, in 2011, repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell allowed gays, lesbians, and bisexuals in the military to serve openly. But the ban on service by transgender people continues. Last July, President Obama signed an executive order prohibiting federal contractors from discriminating on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity, but that does not apply to the military. It was a command sergeant major um, in Afghanistan who pulled me to his office, and he said, I need to know exactly what you are. What Landon Wilson was, was transgender. In his case, born biologically a female, but living as a male. His commanding officer uncovered his secret at the end of 2013 while reviewing then 23-year-old Wilson for a promotion. He was forced to leave the military with an honorable discharge. What went through your head as you were packing up your gear to leave? My main concern was who was gonna take my spot. When you're in a place like that, you can't really afford to lose anybody. You were worried about your buddies, about the mission. Absolutely. Wilson had enlisted as a female, then decided to transition. That meant beginning to live and express himself as the gender he identified with. He took male hormones, and by the time he was deployed to a new unit with military intelligence in Afghanistan, he looked and sounded masculine and was placed in a male barracks. What was that like? It was the best experience of my entire military career. It was probably the only time that I knew 100% that I could focus on my job without worrying about my gender coming into play. Mara Kiesling, who transitioned 15 years ago, is the executive director of the National Center for Transgender Equality. Transgender people are people whose gender identity, that is their internal sense of their gender, just doesn't line up with what the doctor told our parents when we were born. I mean, is it a boy or a girl? From the age of three or four, Wilson felt his gender was male. I remember announcing proudly to my mom that um, this whole girl thing just wasn't cut out for me. And I, I recognized then that the reaction I got wasn't probably the best. You somehow got the message this was not something anybody wanted to hear about. It was just, this is how things are and this is how they're going to be. 
A 2011 survey by the National Center for Transgender Equality found 41% of transgender people had attempted suicide. The decision to transition can bring a sense of peace. There's a relief in saying, you know what, this is who I am. There's a relief in saying, this is what I'm going to do. Transitioning may or may not involve hormones or surgery. Can you explain to people why whether you have the operation or not is really irrelevant to you? It doesn't change who you are as a person. Um, how we see ourselves and, and how we present ourselves to the world is much more important than the underlying layers of what's under our clothes or what could be under our clothes. Um, gender is completely independent of your sex. You know, Landon Wilson told me it's so important to remember he's not the only one transitioning. His family, friends, colleagues, they're all transitioning. And this theme is so beautifully portrayed in the show Transparent that's on Amazon right now, which shows the journey of a transgender woman who comes out later in life. The main character is played brilliantly by Jeffrey Tambor, who won a Golden Globe for it. And in this clip, you're going to see the main character, Tambor, explaining exactly what's going on, or trying to, to his daughter, who's played by Amy Landecker. Can you just help me out here? Are you, are you saying that you're going to start dressing up like a lady all the time? <laughs> Honey, all my life, my whole life, I've been dressing up like a man. This is me. It's so interesting, John, because this, I mean, in effect, this issue's been on the table for a long time. You can go back to Christine Jorgensen back in the 50s, to Renee Richards, the tennis player in the 70s. It's been out there, but the public's never really wanted to look at it squarely. No, this is me. Is that, that's so poignant. And I think it's so important because we're learning the words, the vocabulary. You know, we're going to have a national conversation about this. People are nervous. They say he instead of she. They said uh, uh, parent instead of dad. And it's okay. Just, we need to, we tell our kids, use your words. We just need to have the conversation, learn the vocabulary. This is what transgender means. This is what transitioning means. And, right. and then things will get better. I, I agree. I mean, I think, I think so much of it is just about having the conversation mm -hmm. um, and even being unguarded as society learns more about people who have, who have been a part of our society forever. And that's, I think, where the support comes, is from truly understanding people. It certainly feels like that show is the tipping point. A lot mm -hmm. more people talking about it now. Yeah, for sure. John, Dr. John LaPook, Dr. Holly Phillips, thank you both for being with us this morning.